Welcome back to Truly Heal and today we heal broken bones, fractures with PEMF. Now I'm extremely passionate about this subject because my mom has very advanced stages of osteoporosis and this is actually not a joke. Your x-ray shows a broken rib but we fixed it with Photoshop because your body won't heal anymore. And that's what a lot of people get told who have osteoporosis, rickets, bone cancer or low energy levels that their bones don't heal. We call that delayed healing or non-healing wounds and to keep still for a very very long time until finally that bone decides to grow together is agony. Morphine, painkillers, um, sitting still, not being able to move is certainly not a lifestyle that you would wish on anyone. Now my mother has osteoporosis since many many years and every bump on her elbow, every big hug and broken ribs, you know, like you don't even know how to touch her anymore. Her hand was fractured many times and we all know it's to do with lifestyle and diet, but that won't change anymore and it's already way too late to do that transformation. So what we need to is to make the condition she has as manageable as possible. So when she had her hand broken, she couldn't move anymore. Well, we use PMF, put her hand in the middle and she just made a little exercise like that on a five minute treatment and now her hand is completely mobile again. She put that in between and was uh, pulsing her hand and now everything is flexible. She had well, broken shoulders, broken arms, broken elbow, broken hip, broken sacral, everything. And every single time the doctor said, it's a non-healing, you won't be able to repair it, it, no, it won't go together again, and it did. So, I love PMF and I thought I'll share that with all of those of you who have similar problems, who don't know how to get those bones back together. And it's not something I've invented, it's actually a common knowledge if you look into the sport industry, soccer clubs, athletes, Olympic players, horse, race horses, you know, no derby winner has been running or winning a race without being treated with PMF to strengthen the bones, strengthen ligaments, strengthen the joints. And that's what they do on an ongoing basis too because it's, it's high value, it's very high value. Sport people, injury, if you look at the video that I posted at the blog post, so if you're on YouTube just click the link below, takes you to our blog and then you will find the video uh, from the sports club where the doctor of the team explains how they reduce downtime, healing time and everything with PMF. It's phenomenal. So where you spend money is usually in the industry where you earn money. But in the disease state or you know chronic degenerative diseases, everybody kind of gives up and that's not right. Now when you look at fractures that don't repair, that are delayed in repair, they often put in those metal plates and screws and try to hold things together. Wouldn't it be much nicer to actually mend the bone in a very fast way and get that process expedited and actually working instead of putting all those trapments in? Well, the process is actually quite simple. When your bone breaks, you go through four stages of repair. And all of those four stages are responsive to electrostimulation. Electrostimulation has dramatically increased the speed and complete healing of bone fractures, including non-unions, delayed unison, and simply large fracture sites. And there is plenty of research. I have here in my next slide, and on the blog post, I think we have 25 um, different research studies that you can read. They all talk about, you know, electrostimulation in fracture healing, electrostimulation with pulse electromagnetic fields. So it's really a, a study that is proven to work and that's what I would like you to experience as well. The concept is pretty simple. As soon, let me just go back to this slide. As soon as we start the healing process, you see you have now two halves, two halves that should grow together and those joints they need an electrical stimulation in between, electrical current that makes those blood vessels move, 
to bring the immune system in, to create new colors and new bone structure, then um, callus formation and bony callus spone bonge, how the um, sponge bone, the other way around, how to build that together and then uh, bone remodeling. All of that is induced, stimulated and activated by electrical currency. Now, very important, let me just put the pad behind me, then I have elbows free. <laughs> When you have low energy, elderly people have low energy, lack of nutrient, low energy, high infectious load, EBV virus, different kind of latent uh, infections, all of that costs energy. You know if you have a flu, oh God, you know I'm so tired, I could sleep, and just one flu, bacteria or viral load and your whole energy goes down. Now think about you have years of inflammation, years of leaky gut, years of your energy levels are drained. And many of you have heard me say that when a toothbrush goes and doesn't work anymore, electrical toothbrush, I put it onto a charger. There is not a cable or connection, it's just electrically induced energy fields to recharge my battery. That's the same for human body. I put it here and recharge my pancreas or recharge my liver or recharge my bone and shoulder and ligaments and muscles and tendons with energy. It's actually negative ions that shoot from that ring. That's why it's so important that it's high quality copper and that energy shoots out into our body and electroporation, electrostimulation, then recharges that area with electrical fields so that the healing can happen. And I'll explain with frequencies and everything in a moment. But it is a very powerful process. So when they look at all those studies, they did two things. Number one, the fracture site. Let's say my arm is broken here right in the middle. And I put this butterfly over. So I come from both sides, top and bottom, or from the side and left. And I activate the area here then I induce energy into that fracture site so that the remodeling and the bone and the colors formation all happens faster. It's like energy that you give to your body. Now a lot of people say that is number one, but systemic recharge is number two. So you would do the whole setup as I always teach, sitting on it, leaning against it. You know, you can use the pad to lean against it and have your whole back stimulated. You can put the loop around your neck to stimulate your thyroid and your chest, your lung, your heart, oxygen uptake. Then you put it on your belly and then you have a systemic recharge of all systems. That is cool to get your whole system fired up. But then you do a local treatment wherever you need it. Let's say you have a shoulder problem and I've broken your shoulder or your upper arm. Then you put it wherever it's needed and induce energy into that repair field as well. That's it. It's simple. Super simple. Now many people have asked, Marcus, when we do treatment, do we need frequencies? I'm actually tired of that question because it compares two different devices with each other that have nothing to do with each other. They both induce energy but in a completely different form. When we use a frequency device, an oscillating PMF device, then that is a device that produces a very low power frequency in one area, let's say 6 hertz, 8 hertz, 12, 18, 20. So they go in different intervals if they do such fine adjustments. They go into those frequencies and they do one each for three minute intervals. Now your bone your colors formation will respond maybe to 18 or 20 hertz. Then your blood vessel formation will respond to 30 hertz. Your white blood cells and your lymphocytes might respond to 26 hertz. Your nerve repair is slower, works on 8 hertz. So all of those different frequencies that you need to do the repair have to be targeted. And it's like one tuning fork and then you have many others beside. And only the right one, if I swing here with mm, then only the frequency that is responsive to that will respond and sing along, not the others. So my bones will not respond to that frequency. My white blood cells will not respond to that frequency, but my nerve cells might do. 
And that's why when you use an oscillating device, you have a 30 minute treatment and each frequency is usually used for three minutes. So you have a three minute targeted treatment, then three minutes immune, immune cells, three minutes whatever. And that's what we don't need to take care of with a ringer device. See, when you use the single, only one unit or the double unit device, then you have a pulse that is so powerful, so strong, that you don't need to sing along and slowly vibrate up. You send so much energy into the body, electrical negative charged ions that with electroporation activate your bones, your ligaments, your tendons, your muscles, your cartilage, your nerve cells, your immune cells, your lymphocytes, everything at the same time. One buck is three times more worth than endless stimulation and slow vibration. And that's pretty much the difference. So if I use this here and I turn it on, this is the double device. I can use it on individual. So I use the left hand side and I would turn that on. And now I have my pulse on a low setting and you can hear the duck, duck, duck. So I would use this and put that over my shoulder, for example, if that's the area I want to treat. Now I can go up in energy. Oh, they're, on, yeah, they're now synchronized. So I go up on energy on level three, and that would be pleasant. I can go up to level five, and you see the buck goes slower, the frequency goes slower, but therefore the pulse is more intense. The intensity is really only relevant how deep it needs to be energizing into the body. So if you treat deep-rooted problems, the more energy you have, the deeper it goes, the more effect it has, the faster the healing will be. If you go to a low frequency, to low power setting, so you see now it has a faster frequency, that's 700 Gauss, pulse, 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 700, 700, 700, 700. So it's not a lot less, it just does penetrate not as deep as it would do if I turn it up in volume. Both are effective. And because both are so strong in their efficiency, we don't need to wait for long hours. You do local treatment twice a day or three times a day with five minutes and that's it, or 10 minutes and that's it. That will be sufficient to expedite that wound healing, fracture repair in a dramatic way. Let me just turn this off so that we don't have this duck, duck, duck. I quite like the, the idea of boxing because it just shows that you treat from all angles. Prostate, for example, a lot of males, they use it from the top, they use pulse from the top, and then they sit on the device to pulse from underneath, and then they even put it in the back of the sacral to pulse from the back. And that would then really cover the whole um, prostate area from all sides. And that's what you want to do with the fracture break as well, with the bone broken bone as well, just to intensify that form of healing. So if you're interested in PMF devices, we have a PMF expert training. It just shows you what PMF does, how it works, where it comes from, what frequencies it uses from the earth magnetic fields, how those negative ions are absorbed into the cell, how they help with detoxification, how they help with nutrient uptake and oxygenation. All those things that make us young again, that give us energy, are all done by PMF. And that's why I believe it's something you need to get your local chiropractor or osteopath or community or your friends all together signed up, get a device and then share it. It's such a beautiful tool. And because these things have no maintenance, no care, no look after, they run for years to come, you just energize your community and get well and get fit again and most of all, stay mobile.